Alright, boom. What's the battery looking like? 69%. <laughs> Okay, let me stop. Okay, so T Grizzly just dropped a new album, and that means I have to stop everything I'm doing and make a tutorial. So let's make something in the style of T Grizzly. Now, mostly I am basing this beat off of Detroit, the song from him in 42 Doug. I believe Hell of a produced it, and actually, let's I think there's another person on it. I think I heard a second tag, few credits. <laughs> um, shout out to Brad. So this is more of like one of those like traditional detroit kind of thing so we're gonna do like a fast-paced piano let's actually just make them short <laughs> let's just save us some time just make them short like this let's just figure something out i really like sticking to like these notes like the root note these notes and this one this note right here fuck that note brother fuck that now it's going i just want to make something cool and just like repetitive I like that. Can we just repeat this the whole time? By the way, I am using the Galactic Love Piano. This is a pretty hard preset. You know what? For like these Detroit and like West Coast inspired beats, I feel like if you go to Omnisphere and go to Keyscape Creative, like this one right here, I feel like you find some pretty solid sounds. So let's see what this sounds like real quick. Yeah, fast paced, repetitive catchy oh by the way 90 bpm you feel me hey i'm remembering now melody wise i got this morph pad with the xv5080 you know what this is like one of the most underrated vsts and i might have to just make a dedicated video to it because i really really like it and we're just gonna do like some simple Now, if we're doing Detroit stuff, I think it's mandatory to get the tubular bell. This is my favorite tubular bell right here, the one at SRX Orchestra, and we're just gonna, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I like. And you know what? It can really just be that simple. So let's get started with the drums real quick, bro. Just copy that over. Oh, and then let's do like a little roll too. Like fade it up or something. There you go. And the dope thing about these Detroit beats is sometimes you could just do this. <laughs> just a straight two-step hi-hat roll, bro. Oh, psych, psych, psych. Oh, if you're curious how I did that, highlight the notes you want to shorten. Then you'll see like this little transparent white highlighted arrow, double-sided arrow thing. And you hold down alt so it locks to the grid or option if you're on Mac. And then you click on it and you just drag it and it'll just make everything shorter. Yeah, huh? 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 I've been in ammo. I'm in, huh? I'm in, huh? 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 Now you feel it, bang? Man, let me stop playing, bro. Let's get to the 808. I feel like it's kind of mandatory just to do a spins. We can just do like a little three. Yeah. And then on the second half, maybe we can turn it up and just add like extra 808s. Yeah. Boy, and then let's get some lasers in this thing. We can do a little roll right here, and then we can just copy that over here and just make it a little bit different. And then I don't know, maybe, maybe we can just continue it like that. All right, now let's move on to like some open hats real quick. And lately, I've been really liking pitching up the open hats, bro. Should we just do that? Now I got this reversed open hat, and I kind of want to like figure out a space for it. That sounded really loud. That's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to start rapping again, bro. <laughs> Now, normally I would just leave the 808s by themselves, but I noticed on the track in Detroit, they had a synth bass layered underneath it. So we're gonna try to find one that makes sense. You feel me? I have this one right here in Trillion. If you want like a good trick to find like better bass sounds in Trillion, just type in Rezo and you'll usually end up finding what you need for Detroit and West Coast beats. So, you know what I mean? A little gem, a little game for y'all. And dude, to be honest, I think we can just go mad simple with it, bro. I think we can just layer it with like the three hit like that. Dude, it's coming out hard, bro. The only thing is, I feel like the low end is doing a little bit too much. So I'm going to turn down the synth bass. Oh, we also need to EQ it. I'm tripping. We got to EQ it. So we got to just cut out the low end like this right here. 
That's way cleaner. That's way cleaner. It's still doing a little too much, but like sometimes you gotta do a little too much. Brother. Brother. I'm not scared. I've been in the house way too long, bro. I'm tweaking, bro. Real quick, I just want to let you know that I just dropped 550 royalty free vocals that sound like this. You don't know who you want, so I can't be with you. I can't be with you. Take me to paradise. Take me to paradise. Take me to paradise. I, I. Now they are royalty free, so you don't have to worry about splitting beat sales, placements, anything. They're good to go. Use them in your beats, your loops, anything, bruh. Now I won't be using them in this video because they don't necessarily match the style of the beat that I'm going with because this type of Detroit style beat, they don't really use vocals like that. But trust me, I'm using these vocals every day when I make different styled Detroit and West Coast beats, you feel me? So if you need some of them vocals, gatekeepsounds.com. I get a lot of questions on how to mix like synth basses with 808s and everything. Everything. I don't know the technical term on how to do it. Some people might side chain, some people might do other stuff. But for me personally, whenever I attempt to do it, I just kind of do like some EQ and that's it. Okay, throw these in here. Put the melodies on top because melodies always need to be on top. A lot of elements on top always, brother. If you don't do that, you the ops. I grew up in the suburbs, bro. I shouldn't be talking like that. <laughs> you know what we can do? We can just copy this over and then we can go over to the mixer channel. We can do right click right here on this knob, create automation clip, and then we can basically turn off the EQ for the beginning. And then we can have the, uh, the synth bass play by itself. Boom. Ah, boom, boom. Oh, what if we make this unique and we go up an octave instead? So when it drops, yeah. Oh wait, I need to put my tag in there, hold up. Missed it. Dude, low key, I might not arrange this. I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. Cause I'm like, what am I supposed to do, bro? We can do a little cutoff right here at the last four bars. Do the same thing over here. Should we do a, a section where it's like the higher pitch one too? I can get behind that, that's hard. And then maybe, I feel like a lot of Detroit producers do like 808 switch ups. So maybe we can go like. Let's get a final listen through real quick, bro. Hey, go ahead, Infinite. Hard. I like that little octave change. So with that being said, that's going to conclude the video. If you like the video, hit the like. If you want to comment, throw a comment. If you want to sub, hit the sub.